What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Peaky Blinders fans. Welcome to the channel. Yay! This feels like one of those really long time coming kind of situations. I believe we've been getting Peaky Blinders suggestions for years. Since probably in the inception of the channel. Years. Many, <laughs> many, many years. People have been telling us, you gotta watch Peaky Blinders, you gotta watch Peaky Blinders. We put it in a poll and it absolutely crushed. Yep. So here we are, Peaky Blinders season one, episode one, the premiere episode. Like most things, when we go into it, we don't know anything about this show. The only thing I do know is that it's set in like the World War One era and it's gangster related. So I do know that it's gangster related. That's all I know. So yeah, obviously based off the suggestion rate and the way this show did in the poll, very excited for this show. Yes. Again, it's been a long time coming. And if you're watching this on YouTube currently, we are ahead over on Patreon and members on this channel also. We have full watch along reactions and edited down reactions nice and early. If you want to jump on that and get ahead with us, links to that down below. But yeah, here we go. Peaky Blinders, the journey is finally beginning. Yes. You ready for it? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Uh oh, a show with horses in it. Oh no. Baby crying and horse. Yeah. It's a great, great start. Great, great, awesome. Immediately strikes fear in the entire village. You know, this actor, I don't know his name. I haven't seen him, I don't think, in anything. Mm -hmm. I heard he's fantastic. This is her. Girl who tells fortunes. This tone is already so. Terrifying? Yeah. I love his outfit. The horse's name is Monaghan Boy. Kempton, three o'clock, Monday. You ladies have a bet yourselves, but don't tell anyone else. Interesting. Yeah. 1919, okay. I like the music. I do too. Finn? Off as mad as hell. <sighs> what does a ten year old know about hell, eh? I'm eleven, son die. Ten year old smoke? <laughs> no, it's a much different time. Oh. We running numbers here? What's going on? Didn't your mom... Never mind. <laughs> Shh. Now you were seen doing the powder trick. Times are hard. People need a reason to lay a bet. There was a Chinese. The washerwomen say she's a witch. Look at the book. Chinese have cutters of their own. What if Monaghan boy wins? Tell me. You fix him races now. Do you have permission from Billy Kimber to be fixing races? Uh-oh. You think we can take on the Chinese and Billy Kimber? Billy's got some bloody army! I think that's what I do. So that you don't have to. I need people to start dressing like this. Very nice. There's news from Belfast. I'm calling a family council tonight at 8 o'clock. I want all of us there. There's trouble coming. Uh -oh. I love the tone so far. Yeah. Would you call him a special investigator? <laughs> the brothers. Let's have a show of hands from all those who fought in France. Raise your hands. Who reaps the rewards? Is it you? No, no, no. Do they sit at home comfortable? With a full belly. Yeah. And what is the reward they offer you for your sacrifices made? A fucking cut in your wages. Cheers, Thomas. Crown of a prince. 
Rosa. One of my union comrades is a sister. Works in a telegraph office at the BSA factory. She says over the past week they've had messages coming up from London to the brass, from Winston Churchill himself. Something about a robbery? A robbery of national significance, I said. She found a list of names, and on that list was your name and my name together. Perhaps it's a list of men who give false hope to the poor. The only difference between you and me, Freddy, is that sometimes my horses stand a chance of winning. Ouch. Tell him, you're a loser, Freddy. Oh, dang. You know, there are days when I hear about the cuttings and beatings that I really wish I'd let you take that bullet in. Oh, they were in the war together. Believe me, there are nights I wish you had. Oh. Uh-oh. Jeez. I got to go, man! Daddy! Daddy! Daddy, you're home! We're all home! That was PTSD. You're a human being, Daddy. You're all right. Damn, dude. That's awful. Did I do it again? He did it again, Danny. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. It's all right. Oh, god, Mr. Shelby, I'm sorry. It's all right. You go home to your wife now, Danny. <laughs> Damn it, Danny. Wow. That's so sad. Mr. Shelby, you have to do something about it. You pay the Peaky Blinders a lot of money for protection. You're the law around here now, Tommy. Maybe you should put a bullet in Danny Whizbang's head like they do with mad horses. Yes. Maybe you'll have to put a bullet in my head someday, Jesus. too. Jesus. His eye color is amazing. Bring the bill to the Peaky Blinders. We'll take care of it. That felt like some uh, scary foreshadowing. Yeah, I'll bet. That's couple folks are gonna get bullets in the head. Oh, oh shit. Recognize it. Mm. Oh! Okay, well. What the fuck did you do that for? Finn was playing with this this afternoon by the cut. Oh, God. I must have fell out of my pocket. He said he found it on the sideboard of the betting shop with bullets in it. I must have been drunk. When are you not drunk? Oh. oh I'm sorry. Child playing with a gun, great. It's good Boach and Lovelock got back from Belfast last night. They were in a pub on the Shank Hill Road yesterday, and in that pub, there was a copper. I'm gonna assume that copper is a police officer. He's a clean up the city, Ada. He's the chief inspector. The last four years, he's been clearing the IRA out of Belfast. How do you know so bloody much? Because I asked the coppers on our payroll. And why didn't you tell me? Wait. That feels very Sons of Anarchy with the IRA. Belfast, IRA. Yeah. yeah. So this is just the first nine. <laughs> <laughs> so this copper's gonna leave us alone, right? There are Irish men in Green Lanes who left Belfast to get away from him. We're not scared of coppers. That's right. If they come for us, we'll cut them a smile each. This guy's just a baby. You have nothing more to say to this meeting, Thomas? No. Nothing that's women's business. This whole bloody enterprise was women's business while you boys were away at war. We came back. And the Lord will smite the unholy. Oh my God. It scared me. You got me set. Oh, right out in the. Okay. Five, ten minutes. What do you want? An explanation. Always been able to tell when you're hiding something. I asked my men to steal me four bikes with petrol engines. I'm guessing my men were drunk. There's a steel inside the factory makes tram line chin. They picked up the wrong fucking crate. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh uh -oh. what? Oh shit. Inside, we found 25 Lewis machine guns, 10,000 rounds of ammunition, 50 semi-automatic rifles, 200 pistols with shells. Sitting right there in Charlie Strong's yard. Jesus. So that's why they sent a cop from Belfast? Maybe, maybe not. Holy shit. 
You sell those guns to anyone who has use to them. You will hang. Uh oh. Tell Charlie to dump them tonight. No, he won't move contraband under a full moon. Three days until it wanes. Then you'll do the right thing. Wow. You have your mother's common sense, but your father's devilment. See them fighting. <laughs> Let your mother win. What do I feel like he didn't give the whole truth there? You think he gave think, the whole truth? I don't know, but I don't think he's given up guns. I just a feeling. It felt like a situation where it's like you stumble upon something that big. You make you take advantage profit of, it. of it. Yeah, especially for what, you know, I'm assuming are a bunch of gangsters. People pay for their protection. Are we calling this a club or a gang? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think the Peaky Blinders are a gang. Okay. How did the family meeting go? Usual. There's a new copper coming. Mad. And Tommy says he's after the likes of you. I'm just a poor communist frog with a big mouth. What a shot. Yeah, is that ash? Or snow? Thinking ash. With all the burning that's going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here about the job as a barmaid. Do you know about this place? I saw it in an advertisement. Job's been filled. It was in yesterday's paper. I'm doing you a favor. I'm not asking for favors. I'm asking for employment. You're too nice. And too pretty. They'd have you up against a wall. Oh, my. What part of Ireland are you from? Galway. I worked in Dublin. My mother was from Galway. You're too pretty. Watch and listen. I wish I was. Oh, is that a spittoon? Ugh! Goddamn! I would swim over the deep My singing made them cry and stop them fighting. Well, I hope you know a lot of songs. <laughs> I mean, she went in there, or didn't hesitate one bit with that spit. Ugh, it was just nasty. dumping it. Touching Ooh. her hand. Babies discarded with a fish bones and egg shell. Girls, 11 years old, pierced and punctured by old men with threepence of time. Oh, God. Your masters, the peaky blinders, blind those at sea, cut out the tongues of those who talk. Those of you who have taken their bribes these years since the war, you are worse than them. Mm. It is my job to decapitate each one, and by God, I will do it. Sounds like a dangerous job. Yeah. I don't trust any of you. Okay. Until you earn my trust. Well, especially if you had taken bribes. These are the new men who will bolster your ranks. Good men. They will be sworn in and in uniform, and by sunrise tomorrow, they will be on the streets. Wow. God help those who stand in our way. It's a hell of a way to, like, I'm changing shit by also bringing in new people, so... Well, he knows they won't be corrupt. Well, you hope. The way people talk about the Peaky Blinders, they sound horrifying. What are they capable of? <laughs> like you that. What the heck? Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> they messed him up. This dude means business, huh? Arthur Shelby. What is gonna happen right now? Oh god, I hit him. Oh. Friggin' destroyed his nose with that angle. Your uniform. Terrifying, I'm sure. Do you have a gun? No gun. No, I finished suck. Kosh in his belt. What is he? Kosh. I want you to see this is me introducing myself to you. How do you know about the robbery? Oh, the robbery. Ay, 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 ay. What do you know about the robbery? I swear to God, I don't know what you're talking about. What fucking robbery? Oh. God damn. I can tell just by snuffing the air whether or not you're lying. I'm not fucking lying. I know. 
Okay, well, we're just breaking fingers and faces and... I see nothing of interest behind the blood in your eyes. Understand us. That is well within my power to have you and the rest of your scum family be a stone on the canal before the year is out. Jesus. On the other hand, we can help each other. Oh. So this whole gun shipment thing is a big problem, clearly. Because that's the robbery, right? Yeah. We're talking about. Hello! I need a bottle of rum. Guys, whatever it is, it's on the house. Why's your dark room? Don't care. Harry said it's on the house. Are you a whore? Oh, my God. Because if you're not, you're in the wrong place. Okay! I would slam that shit too. The fuck? He's one of them you warned me about. You're a friendly girl, but be careful. If I say something's on the house, then say nothing to whoever you're serving. If they decide that they want you, then there's nothing anybody could do about it. Looking for you since he got back from France. Tommy doesn't want anybody at all. John wiped the blood out of his eye. Since when did you give orders? I'm a trained nurse. You went to one first aid class in the church hall and got thrown out for giggling? Not before I learned how to stop somebody from choking. I'm not bloody joking, am I? You will be when I wrap this cloth round your neck. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're all right. Uh, he said Mr. Churchill sent him to Birmingham. National interest, he said. Something about a robbery. He said he wants us to help him. We don't help coppers. He know all about our war records. I said we'd have a family meeting. Take a vote. Shit. Well, he's no truck with Fenians or communists. Well, I mean, there's. I have these guns. What the fuck is wrong with him lately? If I knew, I'd buy the cure from Compton's chemists. He is not telling you everything. She's already a big hit. King at me. Oh. Can't you see him standing there? We've been said singing in here since the war. What do you think that is, Harry? So it's Thomas and who's the other brother? Arthur. Arthur. No, Arthur's the boss. I think it's Thomas is the I mean, Thomas feels like the boss. Right. But the way that cop was handling Arthur. Hmm. Oh, are these drugs? Oh. Some kind of smoking apparatus. It's very interesting. Like the first ever bong. <laughs> what? I just wonder what that is. Is that like heroin? Like before... Or like way back when clearly calmed him down. Whatever it is. Oh. Giving him a memory flashback. Oh. I mean, obviously, they're all the soldiers from the war who have come home are dealing with things. Yeah. Uh -oh. We're close. Go home, crazy man. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Go home. Fix my life. Oh, no. That one guy had an epic mustache. I don't know if the best plan to go after someone who's having that kind of episode out, bring out a knife in front of him and... Him thinking it's a bayonet. <sighs> Mr. Churchill, sir. I've set up a command network. I have agents and police across the city. And I've begun to interrogate suspects vigorously. That's one way to put it. 
So, who do you think stole the guns? Fenians or the communists? If it is the IRA Fenians, if it is the communists, I will find them and find the guns. If it is common criminals, I will find them and find the guns. So what you're saying is you're going to find it regardless. Bodies thrown in the rivers wash up in the papers here. We must keep the existence of these stolen guns out of the news, otherwise we're simply advertising them for sale. If there are bodies to be buried, dig holes <laughs> and dig them deep. Okay. <laughs> wow. Just gave you permission. Yeah. If you're going to do this. Yeah. Dig really big holes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw them in the river. And there's a bunch of ammo. Uncle Charlie, a word. We can take them out to the turning point beyond Gas Street and leave them on the bank. They'll be found by railway men first thing. I don't think that's Is that what you want. I changed my mind. Uh oh. I have an alternative strategy. After they've already loaded everything up, thanks. There's a lock-up mooring we used to keep cigarettes. He knows it. When the boat leaves your yard, it's no longer your concern. Have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> they've sent a fucking army to find these things. That's right. If they want them back this bad, they'll have to pay. Okay. I've always looked out for you like a dad. You're going to bring only hell down on your head. This copper takes no prisoners. I'm told he didn't serve. Reserved occupation. Is it another war you're looking for, Tommy? Oh, God. The Tobacco Wharf, by order of the Peaky Blinders. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Is that like one of those like ironclad things? It's like, if you get that, you do it or die. That's what it feels like. <laughs> that was one of those cool moments. I'd by order of the Peaky Blinders. Felt strong and powerful <laughs> and like scary. Are you in possession? Oh. First impressions. I'm quite shocked at how these people live. Secret spy. It strikes me that it isn't Arthur who heads the Shelby family. It's the younger one, Thomas. They say he won two medals for gallantry in the war. You sound fascinated. However, my opinion has not changed. The bookmaker gangs have other business, and the communists are too weak to have planned this. I believe the guns were taken by the IRA. You must not let your personal history clear your judgment. That the IRA murdered my father will not affect my judgment. Oh, oh. shit. Sure. If you see any guns, check the serial numbers against that list. Your father was the finest officer I ever worked with. I know he'd be very, very proud of you. Dang. Ooh, very eerie. With the fog coming off the water. And the music choice. And these fellas just hanging there. What are you guys doing? <laughs> the man you killed was Italian. Oh, shit. Those two men over there are his brothers. Oh, shit. If I let the Italians do this, Danny, I'll cut off your manhood and let you drain. Oh, God. That's how those bastards do things. So to stop a war breaking out between us and the Italians, to save you from their barbarity, I said I would dispatch you myself. Area to witness. Oh, shit. This is very much like the other show. Oh, my God. Those ruthless Italians. Holy shit. I left my fucking brains in the mud. You have any last requests, comrade? Shit. You look out for my Rosie and my boys. Oh, my God. See, they get apprenticeships at the BSI factory or the Austin, and they'll make foreman. And now they will. They stole the very men, and they won't get told to do this shit. This shit, this shit that we got told to do. I suppose they ought to pray now. He's like so accepting that this is gonna happen. I mean, those fucking guns, they blew God right out of my head. He looks like a baby still. 
I mean, they are. They're all fresh from the war. It's like, I feel like when Thomas tells you to do something, you kind of just come to the realization that it is going to happen. Don't bury me anywhere there's mud. Promise me. Th they have a boat ready for him to... Oh, my God. You're a good man and a good soldier. This is so brutal. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Bleak midwinter. Or does he turn the gun on them instead? And these... Oh my god. And these guys in the boat are just like, yep. Yeah. Oh, and they're just like, yep. Yeah. Wow, it's a hell of a start. Couldn't kill the other two dudes. You couldn't start a war with the Italians. No, no, I, I, I get it, I get it. I just, you know. Monaghan boy. Bloody one! Yeah, it won. And word will spread. So the next time we do the powder trick, it won't be just a garrison that'll bet on the horse. It'll be the whole of Small Heath. And you know what? The horse will win again. And the third time we do it, we'll have the whole of Birmingham betting on it. And that time, when we are ready, the horse will lose. Wow. So he's a planner. Yeah, he thinks uh, future plans. Yeah. Not just the uh, micro, but the macro. Maybe that's why he's the one who's in charge. Little brother, not big brother. Oh, what? Wait. You okay, Danny? I'm still in shock. Are you sure this isn't heaven? If it was heaven, what would I be doing here? How did you pull that off? Tommy wanted you to think it was real. Try and knock some sense into you. A shell full of sheep brain, so it's pretty bad. Ah, it was meant to. The f Wow! Tommy has a little job for you. Give you a chance to say thanks. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm impressed. A picky blind in there, Danny. This wow. is wild. Yeah. I don't know if I uh, should be excited or horrified that I was named a picky blinder. Right. Did you do the right thing? Yes, I did the right thing. Um, can we be more specific? Yeah. Because what I think is the right thing and what you think is the right thing are two very different things. Apparently. Auntie feels like someone you don't want to fuck with, though. He seems like a very tortured soul. I mean, I think a lot of them are specifically because of the war. But like, but, I, I feel like he's dealing with extra. I mean, like it, possibly. It's not just, I feel like it's not just like his job on his mind. It, he's got PTSD. He's got family I mean, issues. He's got work issues. The I mean, small just, bit that we got from his like military experience, like mm -hmm. it sounds like he did a lot. Sergeant Major. And, like, he was rewarded, like, multiple awards, I think I heard. But they did a really good job in this first episode of building the intrigue. Because I want to know so much more. I want to know everything. Just after one episode, I'm like, these characters and this gang, I mean, the Peaky Blinders sounds... They don't sound huge. Right. But they sound really dangerous because... I, it's really funny coming off of Sons of Anarchy and the whole IRA situation. And I, I can't that help that whole storyline. I yeah. think it's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's just many, 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 many years forward in Sons. But getting that and having some history and understanding what the IRA is then and hearing them talked about in this show is just really interesting. And they sound like the big bad threat like they're the big dangerous group and it seems like the peaky blinders they look like a bunch of babies like but it also feels like like before the war they were one thing and now after the war they're something else it feels like they had to make a shift of some sort mm -hmm. and just the whole situation around this gun like all this ammo and all these weapons that he they they stumbled upon. Found. They found them. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we found these and we're going to keep them. And the original plan, like he was going to get rid of them. Yeah. He was going to go stash them. But those wheels 
It seems like this Thomas is a smart dude and he plans and he thinks and he has a plan for these weapons. And it feels like a lot of it is this. Because even hearing him talk about the horse betting, yeah, it's like, we're going to do this magic and our horse is going to win. And then we're going to do it again and the horse is going to win again. And we're going to do it a third time and the horse is going to win again. And everyone's going to be betting. And then we're going to bring in all this money when everyone expects the horse to win again. Horse is going to lose. And they're going to make And we're going to bring all the money in. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, this dude's smart. Like, he plans and thinks. And it's clear that like, he is the smarter one of the two brothers in terms of, like, the way they think. And the way the police officer just came in the mix and just brought in his whole new crew and was like, we're shaping everything because I know you guys have been taking bribes. He's like, I'm going to bring in my own crew. They're all clean. And they went through and started cleaning up right away. They brought in, well, what's the brother's name? Arthur? Mm. They brought in Arthur right away, beat the shit out of him, tortured him a bit, realized that he didn't know anything about the guns. And the you fact that... You gotta put the scare, you're gonna put the fear in. Yeah. yeah. And, and the fact that he even has his own plant with the bartender, it's like, oh, damn. Like, this dude's smart, too. And he's clearly got his strategy set. And... The fact that she was like, yeah, I don't think Arthur's, I think it's little brother who's in charge, who's making the calls. Yeah. So I love the vibe of this first episode. The I music is really cool. Mm -hmm. The wardrobe is so cool to see. We actually went to a Gatsby party this year. I couldn't imagine living in that time because I don't I like... Love I hate dressing like that. Oh, I love... Well, I love the men's clothing. I mean, I didn't really get to see a whole bunch of, like, the women's clothes. But I love the suits. I mean, the suits, suits and the and ties the, and the hats. Yes, like, I love the pinstripes and all that stuff. I just... I bet you it's hot as hell. Constantly sweating. Always. Oh, it must smell... Yeah. Disgusting. I mean, that's that's the primary. <laughs> like, it's like it's so restricted, like, wearing suits. like, And it's not like it's just a shirt and a jacket. They wear vests and just... It's a whole three-piece. There's, like, a lot, and it's heavy, and it's, it's always... Because if and you're going to look... If you're going to look sharp, it's got to be snug. It's got to look tight. You got to look... Fitted. Yeah. They don't wear baggy clothes there. Exactly. So, I mean, it visually is an, um, the best. I think it's the coolest look. Yeah. It really is. Like, the pinstripe suits with the with the right color. Like, that shit looks so sharp with the hat and, like, the pocket watch. And just all of that looks really sharp. I am very grateful for subtitles <laughs> at this point. Oh, yeah. For Their sure. Their accents are a little thick. Mm -hmm. So that's Ironically, going to take some getting used to. Those type of accents don't bother me. I can understand what they're saying, which is bizarre for well, me. Well, there was I just struggle. a couple of words. I was like, the hell? Well, there's also a vocabulary that that's what I we mean. don't know that's, what some of the words yeah. are. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's not necessarily like knowing or understanding. I just don't know what some of the words meant back then in, in that country. We, it's different. But I, I'm sure we'll figure it out. But... I mean, having headphones on and having subtitles on, yeah. it helps a lot. Yes, because you can hear directly For sure. from whom is speaking. Yeah, but I thought that was a really good start. I like the foundation that they built in that first episode. I, again, the environment is super cool. The visuals, I thought the music was fantastic. It did a really good job of setting tone. Mm -hmm. When you didn't even know what was necessarily going on, you're like, oh, this doesn't feel like a good moment. And then it ended up playing out to not be a great moment. And the way they faked Homeboy's death. That was awesome and terrifying all at once. I'm really happy because it's like, it sucks that I he... I felt bad. I felt horrible for that dude because he, he was... children and a wife. Right, and he's just dealing with something. And they obviously don't have mental health situations back then no, to deal with it. No, but they're looking out for each other. It's not yes. like they just... Yeah, I for sure. It. But yeah. they don't have proper help for that kind of situation coming home from the war. And he's dealing with things and visually seeing things and hearing things that aren't necessarily happening. And the fact that the one dude came at him with a knife because he thought he was like a crazy guy. It's like, dude, chill. He's just having like symptoms from yeah, the war. Well, I mean, not everybody understands. Right. But I still pulling a knife out. Like, I don't know if I would approach that guy necessarily, but I don't know. That was pretty cool. And he's part of the Peaky Blinders. And there was a line in the episode that kind of gave me like, chill vibes to an extent when he said like orders of the peaky blinders like that felt really cool yeah i don't know what it was but the way he delivered the line it was like by orders of the peaky blinder it's like you may not want to do this 
you don't have a fucking choice now is what that felt like. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like that's that's the kind of game we're playing here. And this group, this gang, Peaky Blinders feels again, they don't feel that big. No. But they feel like they run shit and not somebody that you really want to mess with. So Right. What'd you think of that first episode? I loved it. I I Good mean start, I'm right? interested. I mean, yeah. especially coming off of Suns, I miss the brotherhood. <laughs> you know, I miss the 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 group of of like People that are like, you know, they've got each other's back and they'll do anything. Some for more each other. criminals to fall in love with. Honest. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's that's what it is. That's like the theme of the shows that we watch. Yeah. It's like you guys do horrible shit, but we love you for it. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to have to fall in love and then yeah. here I got this though. Oh my God. So good start. Yes. I agree. I thought it was really good. Very good premiere episode. So yeah. All right. We finally started Peaky Blinders. How exciting. Just another reminder, we've got full reactions and edited reactions over on Patreon and for the channel members here. Select the right tier and you can check that stuff out. Also, we'll try to get two episodes a week will be the plan. We are coming off of being sick, so oh we're kind of playing catch up a little <laughs> bit. But yeah, we're going to plan to try to get this done two days a week and get things cranked out. That's the plan. If you guys have any thoughts, any questions, leave all of them down below. We'll catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.